Ivan Katz here at Woodsboro Disc Golf Course, just outside of Frederick, Maryland. I've already shot one through nine. Today, I'm playing the back nine, but look for the front nine elsewhere on YouTube. And I'm gonna show you which discs I throw, why I throw them, and I'm gonna talk about how to play this game of disc golf with some tips along the way. Let's get started. Number 10 at Woodsboro, a lot of trees. Tough shot. It says uh, well, there's two measurements, 382 and 184. Uh, it's not 184. So I don't think it's 382 either. But anyway, it's tough. Well, I'm trying to use some discs I don't throw too frequently. This is the West Side Discs hatchet nine six negative two and two and uh, it was an okay shot so nine is the speed of the disc that means this one is a fairway control driver and six is the glide that means the wind is going to carry this one the higher that number the more glide it has hence glide negative two is the turn and that is the stability of the disc when I throw forehand flick like this with hyzer, that means it should turn over a little bit. That disc is not broken in, so it has less drastic characteristics. As you hit trees and play with these discs, they tend to basically get more understable, which means they'll flip a little easier. When you buy a disc that you can't get to turn over, if you're throwing right hand, backhand, and you can't get the disc to come up, then it's probably too fast for you but you also might want to keep throwing it if you like the way it flies then you might want to keep throwing it because it will get more stable or understable as the case may be as you play with the disc the last number two is the fade and for a forehand flick the discs are going to fade off this way and for a right hand backhand the discs are going to turn over and then fade back this way so there you go. If it has a zero fade, like a putter, then it's designed to go very straight. And uh, you can vary the amount of hyzer or anhyzer if you throw it this way. This is anhyzer for a flick. And this is anhyzer for a right hand backhand. If you're doing a dog leg right for a right hand backhand, you want anhyzer. And then if you're doing a dog leg right for the forehand flick and you want hyzer, lots of hyzer. Okay, let's see if I can make this putt. It's a difficult one. Okay, wrapping up number 10. Started off with a nice shot from the hatchet, west side discs, 96 negative 2 2, which means it gives you a nice little S curve. Not very broken in yet, it'll break in more and get more understable more flippy as time goes by but i like the disc just added it to my bag trying out something new and uh left me in the fairway but unfortunately probably circle two at best maybe just outside a circle is 33 feet circle two is 66 feet 10 meters 20 meters and uh, if you're inside of 10 meters the circle then you cannot jump forward when you putt. Outside you can. I don't jump putt so that's not my style anyway. Anyway, blind putt which I made with the ace race. Love this. It's a approach disc I believe. It's uh, from the 2018 ace race. So if anybody knows what that disc is, I got it in Florida at a used disc golf store. Let me know. Um, love this disc and love the way it gives me great approaches and sometimes great birdies like that one as well. I can even flick it right at the target and it's very straight, maybe a little turn, but uh, a great disc. And uh, so there you go. It was a blind putt, so that means you need to get a frame of reference maybe. Know where it is, the tree was too big blocking it. So know where you're going and just visualize the disc going in. Pretty tough, you definitely want to be able to see the basket when you putt so keep that in mind when you're doing approach shots and things like that but uh, I was able to pull out that birdie there and uh, on to the next one number 11 not very far but uphill 
and a uh, heck of a lot of trees. There's basically a fairway here and a fairway here. Interesting. All right, well, that was fun. I exploited both gaps to show you that you can do anything with these discs if you want to. They're both pretty stable, meaning for me, they turn just a little bit. So they're, they're, I would call them both slightly, slightly understable. Uh, and I can vary that by the amount of hyzer that I use. So this one, I gave a little more hyzer to because I was going around to the left and I wanted it to fight, 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 and then fade back. And that's exactly what it did. It actually faded pretty far right to the other side, um, closer to where this one landed, the Vision. So this is the Crank SS here, and this is the Vision. And uh, both really staples on my bag. I love these discs. But with Heiser or Anheuser, you can get these discs to do anything you want them to do. And I wanted to show you that on number two. A word about disc golf and my videos, I'm not coming out here and shooting real rounds. I'm not throwing shot after shot after shot. No one's going to come out here and shoot birdies every time. You might not shoot a birdie for a long time when you're learning the game. And aces and things like that, very, very difficult in this sport. So don't think I'm coming out here shooting birdie after birdie and making these amazing putts all the time. I miss like everybody else does. And I'm just as frustrated with this sport many times as you guys are too, so don't worry. But if you shoot plus 10, try to shoot plus 9 the next time. That's all you can do. On to the next one. Number 12, only 172 feet, but a very tricky 172 feet because you've got this ravine down here. If you hit a tree, <laughs> well, you can also be tossed down the hill this way, which probably won't be very fun either. So, tough shot. Okay, so that was a judge, the putter. But one of my ace race discs that I love, just put it up there, got a little bit more stable up there, gave me a little extra height little lift to get me over this log here. Make sure you want to clear that or else you're down in the ravine. But I hit this tree right here, otherwise I think I would have been a little closer. But still, not bad. 15 foot putt for the easy birdie with this lovely Ace Race disc. On to the next one. A lot of short baskets on this course on the back nine, but uh, don't let it fool you because it's very hilly and very treacherous. 126 feet. That's it. Okay, AVR putter there, along with the buzz, got me the birdie, and the buzz tends to stay its course. In other words, if I throw it with hyzer, usually stays, I can get it to dog leg right. I kind of threw that one with a bit of hyzer to get it to stay on the hill and then fade, which it did, faded down the hill, but still close enough to the basket for the easy birdie. On to the next one. Number 14, 201 feet, but lots of trees. Okay, once again, the ace race. And uh, interesting, threw it with some hyzer and it flipped up. That's what's called a hyzer flip. Throw it with some hyzer, it flips up and just stays straight. And this one corrected a little bit, got me around the trees, down the fairway, and just a hair past the basket for the easy putt with the judge. On to the next one. Number 15, 
just shy of 200 feet and uh, really this is the way to go I think because this pine tree and all that stuff is sort of blocking the left side and for the forehand flick the natural tendency is for the disc to curve off that way so it's tough hmm Okay, so the Ace Race, great disc. This is the other one, I have a blue and a pink one. Anyway, eyes are flip, and then kept on going, straight at the target with very little fade. Beautiful disc, and uh, just got me a hair past the basket. Now, when you're playing casually, you can flip the disc like that to mark it, but you really should have a marker at mini discs that you throw in front of it because you're not supposed to walk in front of your disc. You're supposed to basically have a piece of notebook paper behind this and your foot has to be in here, basically, behind the disc. So that's how you mark your shot. And uh, in this case, I'm so close it's a drop in and it's a casual round. I'm just gonna pick this up and drop it on in. On to the next one. Number 16, it says it's 311 feet. I don't think so. But um, there's a red tee up here and blue, and then there's green back there. So three tees at this course, really nice, and uh, lots of trees, challenging, fun. And uh, apologies if I'm not getting these right. I'm throwing to the wrong basket or something, but it uh, looks right to me. Okay, here we go. Okay, one of my favorite discs. I have a whole review of it elsewhere on YouTube. Check it out. Crank SS. Just fights, 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 fights with a little fade at the end. Great disc for me. And uh, got me right here for the easy birdie. On to the next one. 17, short and downhill. I think uh, under 150 feet plus downhill. So you really got to watch your speed and... Uh, just pick something that you really can control and try to park it. Okay, took a lot off the buzz, put a lot of hyzer on it so it would turn right and uh, downhill. Don't want to throw high there, you kind of threw down to keep the distance settled and uh, you want to throw very in control when you're going downhill or uphill. If you're throwing uphill, make sure you throw high enough. And in this case, downhill, make sure you throw low enough. Another tip, write your name on the disc, your phone number, and that way you'll get one back if you lose it. If you can't find a disc and it's one of your favorites, make sure you join that local Facebook group and post there because that's a good way to get a disc back. On to the next one. Number 18, a lot of trees in the way. I'm going to play it from the blue tee. It's supposed to be 229 feet. All right, there you have it. Number 18 with the XL. Beautiful hyzer flip disc. Nice and straight after the hyzer flip. Got me the distance with a little fade to the right for the easy birdie. Thanks for watching this round of disc golf at Woodsboro. The back nine, look for the front nine elsewhere. I do have a Patreon account if you'd like to support me and these videos. If you like them, that would be great. Follow the link and also check out all my other disc golf videos, disc reviews, and just travel to Florida before this whole COVID-19 thing started. So check out some travel rounds. When I travel, I usually pick a course or two and shoot those along the way. So look for those videos elsewhere. If you like cars, just Google Drive in Ivan in your favorite car and you will find it. Of course, like this video, share it with your friends, and also check out my music videos as well elsewhere on YouTube.
Thanks for watching. I'm Ivan Katz.